Okay, let's talk about the conditions that the building department is going to require for your design. They're going to require um, the design itself, and then they're going to require all the details of the design, whether or not it has a spa, um, how big the, the tile line is around the edge of your pool, whether it's 6 inches or 12 inches, um, whether or not you have any steps that lead up to your spa or up to a raised area or concrete area, and whether or not those steps are cantilevered and if they're faced with tile. There's a lot of details that go into the, the design itself. It just depends on how simple you want to make your design or how complicated or intricate. And the more intricate the pool, of course, the more details that are involved with the design. And the building department wants to know every detail. So, with that, um, you're also going to need to show the position of north from your backyard. They want to know which direction is north so that they can get an idea of the placement of the pool, the direction. And then also whether or not you have any easements or whether or not you have any drainage issues, if you have any um, uh, retaining walls that are involved, all of those details have to be on the plan. Also, they're going to require a lot plan. And what a lot plan is, typically when you purchase a home, they're going to give you a plan that shows an outline of your house and your property lines. They want a lot plan for your swimming pool. So basically what you got to do is recreate that lot plan and then do a basic sketch of your swimming pool and then show the distances from the water to the outer ends of your property line and your house. That's pretty much that. Also on the plan they're going to require a little map of how to get to your house and also um, details, blown up details of any raised wall areas or waterfall features or anything like that. So once you have all that laid out, um, are you ready for the building department? Well, not quite. You also need to get electric, plumbing, and steel schedules from your contractors to, to bring those along with your design and your plot map. Once those are done, you should be ready for permits. Um, now, every building department is different, so it, you have to check with your local building department to see what they require is what I would suggest. But those are some things that, um, those are the basics that you'll need for virtually every building apartment. Um, also, you want to check to see what uh, the distances are required by the building department from property line to water's edge. Now, in my, in my case here in California uh, and in the county that I'm working at, it has to be five feet from the property line to water's edge before you can even consider putting a pool in. Also, sliding glass doors. Many times there's restrictions where you have to stay five to, and in some cases,